What's up everybody? Hope all of you are doing well. The past month or so, I've just been super busy with school and work. That's basically like my whole life, y'all. Usually I go into work on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and then I have Tuesday and Thursday off. And today is my day off, so I basically just wanna show you guys what a typical day looks like for me when I'm not working and I'm just doing online school. Honestly, most of my days off, uh, during the week, I literally just spent here at home, catching up on homework, editing videos, all that sort of stuff. Um, so today is just gonna be like a normal day in the life of Diego. So um, with that said, let's go. All right, y'all, since I did get up pretty early, at least earlier than usual for me, I definitely need like a little pick-me-up right now. So I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm honestly just gonna use a Keurig because I don't make that much, I just make one cup. I'm gonna make some Laird Superfood coffee. I don't know if you can see that. This coffee has mushrooms in it. It's a mix of cordyceps, lion's mane, and chaga mushrooms. I just got this one like two weeks ago, and I usually mix between green tea and coffee pretty much like every other day. It's definitely not as potent in caffeine, but it still gives me like more prolonged energy. Honestly, you hear mushrooms in coffee and you would think like, what the hell, like that's gonna taste like crap. But um, you actually can't even really taste the mushrooms, at least I can't, but. This is like a creamer that you throw in in your coffee. Um, and it's super good for you, man. I'm not a freaking nutrition expert, so I'm not gonna get into like the details, but just know this is really good for you. So rather than just making coffee and throwing the creamer in, I like to mix it all together and it kind of makes like a really good latte. I usually never do exact measurements, but for the sake of this video, I will do exact measurements. It says three fourths teaspoon, which is a serving, but I usually just put a whole teaspoon because you know, I don't follow the rules. Then I do put a little bit of sweetener in there. You guys have seen this before in my past vlogs. It's monk fruit sweetener. No calories, zero carbohydrates. Man, I am putting you guys on. I throw some of this almond milk creamer in there. Just a little bit, literally just like a little splash of that. And then I love cinnamon in my coffee, so I usually put some of this in here. So now it's time to make the coffee. So I poured all the grounds in here. Just put this right here. This is like a Keurig tutorial or something. But don't forget to put the cup, y'all. Otherwise, you will have coffee all over your counter. Now, we wait. Look at that. All right, so we got a nice cup of coffee, guys. Um, that's good. But if you have any questions about the recipe, just let me know in the comments. So it's 10 o'clock right now. My lecture's at 10.30. So just kill a little bit of time right now. In the mornings, I really like listening to podcasts or a lot of the times I watch uh, Skip and Shannon Undisputed. You guys wanna look at my suggestions? Look, it's already on there. First take. A lot of Joe Rogan on my suggestions. I do watch Nelk sometimes. Some of their videos are ridiculous. Everything going on with the Dallas Cowboys. We should have cared, but damn it, we do. Gotta start making my way to class. My lecture is human factors. And honestly, this class has been pretty cool. Most of the stuff we talk about is like getting a job after college, pretty much. The main subject of the course is like the psychology of design and products and things like that. So it's a pretty cool class. Let's see, guys. Which one should I do? Yeah, no. <laughs> so last semester was pretty different from this semester and the fact that I had like three live lectures last semester as opposed to one this semester, so most of my other classes, I literally just have to go on Canvas and look at what assignments I have to do and do them. Um, and although online classes compared to in-person classes do suck, um, this semester hasn't been that bad, honestly. I think a lot of it has to do with this being my last semester. I'm honestly just so ready to be done with it that I'm giving it like one last good push. I'm not always engaged in these lectures nor in the other coursework, but I'm trying my best. And honestly, if you're in the same boat, um, I don't think you should be too hard on yourself. I think everybody is going through a lot of the same things, especially with trying to stay engaged and 
really just enjoying your classes. It's so hard to enjoy your classes, especially when you're not interacting with your classmates or in person with your professors. Like, if that's you right now, honestly, don't be too hard on yourself, guys. Uh, it's all gonna be over soon. Next fall, you'll be right back in person and things will be back to the way they were or much better because we're not gonna take in-person classes and just being around other people for granted. So just hang in there, y'all. So I'm not gonna lie, y'all, pretty freaking hungry right now. I worked out this morning, I haven't ate breakfast yet. And because we have a guest speaker, I'm honestly just gonna start making breakfast. So if you see my past vlogs, I usually just make eggs, turkey bacon, and oatmeal. And guess what we're having today? Eggs, turkey bacon, and oatmeal. So I usually just chop up some jalapenos and onions for my eggs. And if you're curious about how I make my oatmeal, I usually just add old fashioned oats, some cacao powder, some chia seeds, cinnamon, peanut butter. gross to some of you but I just like my eggs super well done as you can see eggs turkey bacon and some oatmeal and still in class I'm in a super Mexican family but we still buy the most generic salsa <laughs> well that's the aftermath so on a typical day if I had work I would just get done eating and then it be like pretty much time to go to work. And on my days off, usually I just try to catch up on homework. Um, I'm editing a video. Or on the weekends, I'm usually just hanging out with the fam, chilling here at home. The good thing is nothing's due tonight or tomorrow. Most of my assignments are due this weekend. So I really could be proactive and just finish them. I think I'm just gonna read for a little bit. It's been so long since I read a freaking book, man. So I picked up this one. Awareness by Anthony DeMello. I've never read this before. This is actually my brother's book. I've heard really good things about it from him and I've heard about this book on a bunch of podcasts, so I'm gonna give this a try, man. So just as a little tip, if you guys are doing online classes, I highly recommend, and this is just from experience last semester and this semester, do your best to get out of the house or your apartment or your dorm. I find that if you, it's super easy if you don't have to go anywhere for classes to just decide to like stay home and do everything from there, which I mean, there's no problem with that, but it's honestly super good for your mental health and just your well-being to just get out, like go to coffee shops and work. And I think it helps you stay more productive. That's one of the things I kind of struggle with throughout the whole thing is just getting myself to actually leave my apartment or in this case my house to go do work i know i'm like totally contradicting myself because the whole day today i just stayed home but with that said i'm trying my best to just get out of the house more especially because things are opening up a little bit more so yeah right now i'm just kind of brainstorming for a video if you guys are curious most of my ideas for videos usually just come from questions that i ask myself or things that i been thinking about over the past week or two um, or even just the past couple days and the best way that I know how to portray that idea in a video is listening to music so let's just say I have an idea for a video in my head I'll start listening to music on the music platform I use which is Epidemic Sound and when I'm listening to music I almost start picturing certain shots in my head and I honestly start to get a feel of how the story is gonna look like just based off the music so and also when I'm listening to music, it helps me elaborate on those previous thoughts. And from there, I take whatever I wrote down and just try to translate that into the real world with my camera. All right, y'all, so I just got done working. Today is my turn to cook dinner for the family. I don't mind cooking at all, I actually really enjoy it. I just haven't cooked in a while. But I'm gonna make the chicken and then my mom's gonna help me out with the sides and stuff. So now I'm gonna make the marinade, y'all. I'm gonna make a jerk chicken. I got this recipe off of the internet, so I'm gonna try my best, y'all. So if this is what the marinade's looking like right now, I'm just gonna, gonna stir this up, and then we're gonna rub it on the chicken, and then the chicken is gonna go in those pans, and then right into the oven. Hey Bugs, how was daycare, bud? 
There was an accident report. I think somebody stepped on his little hand. Oh. Dinner is served. All right, y'all, so done with dinner. Usually on days uh, I don't have homework or editing a video, I like to watch a little show. And in this case, I'm watching The Wire. It's on HBO Max, if you're wondering. All right, y'all, so I think that's gonna be it for this one. I know I didn't do much today, but literally, this is like a day in the life for me. As always, I thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. If you haven't already, go hit that like button and subscribe button. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time.